All right, y'all, five by five day. You already know um, we are hitting our five exercises. So we got five sets of five of heavy squats, five sets of fives of heavy bench, five sets of fives of heavy de deadlifts, five sets of fives of heavy overhead barbell press. Then we got five sets of five of low rows with the barbell, right? So we're doing all five compound lifts for today. This is kind of like my power lifting day. And I do this every Sunday. It's to like, you know, one, track how my strength is, two, lift heavier, which helps when you're bulking. I'm in a bulking phase right now for the next three months. So I'm going to be doing this just to track kind of where I'm at. And also I like just variety in my workouts now. So I'm not doing a specific style. I'm kind of adding everything I call it like Olympic power building, which is pretty much taking all of the different training modalities, putting it into one, adding some mobility to it as well. So a lot of dynamic stretching in the beginning that you guys will see. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing um, over the next few months, just keeping everything uh, as a variety and giving you guys a different, st a different style, a different taste of different workouts. So you guys will be there with me today. I just drank Bucked Up. I'm not even sponsored by them, but I just like to say like this is what I was drinking um, as a pre-workout. Then for my intro workout, we got Prime. Drinking this for hydration purposes. Um, honestly, I think anything that it has electrolytes is good when you're in the gym, not just water. So we'll be drinking some strawberry lemonade prime or no strawberry watermelon prime. Uh, but that is it. I literally just I ate two beef sticks to get me going because I've not eaten today. Um, but yeah, guys, so Sunday mass day, you guys will be lifting with me um, and we'll get we'll get to see where our strength is. So I will see you guys at the gym.
All right, y'all. So we just got done with our workout. Um, it was crazy, actually. There was a lot. Um, I was actually a lot weaker than I thought. I was I was lifting four plates for like the the deadlifts, and I I didn't even think I got to four plates for squats. I stayed at like three plates and like twenty five. Um, 25 pounds on top of that. So I, I I didn't get to four on squats. Bench was still weak. I didn't get to three plates the way that I wanted to for that five. Um, and then overhead press was pretty much the same. Wasn't anything different. So I'm glad I kept that. But overall, man, it was a, it was a good workout. It was good to start the right before the new year just to see where I'm at and what I need to do to improve. But yeah, man, a lot of you guys, I know you guys want to build muscle for a lot of the people who are looking to do that. So my goal is to get as many people to build 20 pounds of muscle in the next three months, like as fast as possible, even earlier than three months. So the way I want you guys to do it is I want you to start doing your reps between six to eight reps, right? I want you to go hard. I want you to have two working sets, right? Uh, or, or two warm up sets. And then two working sets after that. Working sets are basically the the sets where you use the most weight to get to the the point of failure of the max reps that you have. So you want to do that. Um, and then from there, I want you to start off with full body for the first month. So you want to split it up into like three different phases. Phase one will be full body. So you're, you're doing pretty much um, two exercises per body part. That's recommended. Um, and you're doing this three to four times a week. Um, and then you want to, again, use that same rep scheme that I was talking about as well. Same set scheme. You want to stay between three to five sets. Um, and you want to go as heavy as you, as you safely can. Right. Um, and then month two is going to be push, pull legs. Right. So push day push is just basically chest shoulders or front delts, um, triceps. Then you have pull, which is more of back rear delts and biceps. And then you want to get into, um, Oh, wait, that was push, pull legs, right? F upper, lower, before that, upper, lower is basically, um, obviously, your upper body. So I would say, again, same thing, two exercises per body part, and then lower body, two exercises per body part. Um, that is pretty much where I would get to. Once you get to the push, pull legs at the very end, you should be at your most of your strength capacity. Um, and obviously, food is important, right? So make sure that you're eating um, one gram of pro protein per lean body weight right so that means your total body weight minus your water weight your your fat in pounds um and all of the other like your skeletal your skeletal muscle or your skeletal mass so really just your lean muscle mass figure that out by going to your local gym and actually getting an entire um, body scan or going to a place and doing a body scan but that's what i'd recommend in terms of protein make sure you prioritize that um, and man, just make sure that your meals are consistent. Make sure you're eating three to four times a day, bigger meals. Um, I got a thousand calorie, um, bulking smoothie that I have as a previous video that I might be able to tag, um, up here so you can check out. Um, but yeah, that's, those are pretty much the, the principles that I would, I would follow. Obviously getting good sleep, getting good recovery is really important too. So don't go to the gym every single day. Or if you do lighten it up when you go, um, uh, maybe do some stretching and mobility one day just to kind of give your body a break and just recover. Take your creatine every day as well. Um, I believe five milligrams um, a day is perfect um, to be able to, like, again, build the muscle, sustain the muscle, all of that. So that's what I'd recommend. I appreciate you guys coming to work out with me. Um, tune in for the next video, and I appreciate you guys. Subscribe, share this video with your friends, and let's keep working all 2024.